Hello students, you are welcome to office practice class. Today we are going to consider a topic titled meeting. Meetings. What is meeting? Meeting is the gathering of people to make certain decision. Okay, those people that will come together to make that certain decision may be selected, appointed or elected okay, by a large group of people to represent their interests in solving or providing solution to a particular task or problem. Now, that's meeting. We have the types. Basically, we have two types of meeting. We have the first one, we call it informal meeting, or better still, you can call it public meeting. This, this type of meeting is held just to pass information across to the students. This type of meeting does not require rigid, uh, or rigid uh, format that you need to follow before you can uh, organize or hold such a meeting. So it doesn't require any rigid format or rules that you must follow. Okay, uh, maybe probably you must give a notice, maybe seven days or 14 days or a month notice before the meeting can be held. There's nothing like that. Okay, this is informal meeting or we call it public meeting. And this type of meeting normally come up when there is an emergency or better you can call it impromptu meeting. It's a sample of informal meeting. Impromptu meeting, emergency meeting, okay, or rally. Party rally, the example of informal uh, meeting. The second one is called formal. Okay, it's opposite of informal. In this type of meeting, before this type of meeting can be held, there are rules that you must follow strictly. Okay, you must give enough notice as stated in the constitution of that particular organization. Maybe probably 14 days notice must be given to the members to attend such a meeting. You must prepare agenda, okay? All those rules stated in the constitution of the organization must be followed in bringing or in organizing such a meeting. Those are the two types of meeting that we have, informal and formal. Now, let's look at, we are still on this uh, formal. We have examples of a, 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 a formal meeting. Example one, we have a board, a board meeting, that is that's the board of directors. They are the one, they do meet at regular interval to look at what is happening in the entire organization and the, the welfare of members as well. They look into it. That's their major work. We also have uh, other uh, type, I mean other types or example of informal meeting, like a staff meeting, the meeting, I mean, the staff of that organization they come together to meet, to deliberate about their welfare, okay? We have an annual general meeting as well. It's also a sample of a formal meeting. And that one is stated in the constitution of that particular company that they must meet annually and review their activities for that year, okay? They look at their performance for that year, and that one will guide them for future uh, preparation, how they are going to prepare for future uh, activities of that particular establishment. Okay, those are the examples of what of a formal meeting. Okay, so we also have a kick off meeting. Okay, that's this type of uh, kick off meeting, the type of meeting that is held between a uh, project team and the clients. If you take, for instance, your company wants to give contracts to a particular organization. The first time you meet, kick off meeting, you meet the, the project team and the client. Okay, they will meet and deliberate. They, they, they will discuss their, the area, okay, the work, they want, the assignment they want to give to them, their own uh, tax that will be given to that uh, project team and the part and the client as well, their own, their own aspect, what they are expected to put in place so that there will be smooth kick off of that particular project, okay. Now, we also have uh, other types. We have a uh, statutory meeting, okay? That's uh, it is uh, compulsory that they must come together, okay, to look at issues and solve them amicably. So we also have extraordinary meeting, okay? In case 
extraordinary meeting. We can also call it emergency meeting. In case there are important issues that they want to discuss, and they cannot wait till the time they will have their general meeting, they can call for extraordinary meeting. We have that particular problem will be solved. They will discuss the, uh, the issue, and it will be solved amicably. Okay? So, all these are the different examples of former meeting. Yes, the other example of former meeting that we have is committee meeting. Okay, committee, the world committee meeting is a situation whereby few people are selected among a large group to look at some issue, to examine it, okay, maybe to solve a particular problem or to offer suggestion or idea on how, on how to uh, go about a particular business in that particular establishment. We also have a management meeting that one comprise of top officials in the organization, whereby they rub my together, they come together to decide on what and what to do in that particular organization. That's management meeting. So they come together at regular interval to look at, to review the activities of the organization and to shape in new ideas or how to move uh, forward. We also have the ad hoc committee. This type of committee or meeting rather is putting people together to solve for a particular purpose, to solve a particular assignment, or to examine a particular issue. That's ad hoc. Once they are through with that assignment, they will dissolve them. They are, their appointment is on short-term basis. We give them a month okay, to, uh, to do the work and give their report. Thereafter, they will dissolve uh, them. That's ad hoc uh, committee. So those are the... Uh, examples of former meeting that we have. We, have, we also have a procedure of a meeting, okay? Before the meeting, that, that one is applicable to the former meeting that we have discussed. Don't forget we have discussed two types, informal and formal. Now we want to look at the procedure of meeting. That is, there are some things that you must do in the course of holding a particular meeting. The first thing is called notice. You must give a notice. You must create awareness. You must inform the member ahead of time. Okay? It may be stated in the Constitution that you must give a month notice or 14 days notice. Okay? You, you notify them. You tell them. Let them aware so that they will plan their artillery so that they will be able to attend the meeting. So you must give them. And, and at times, it do stated in the Constitution, the interval. Okay? Interval from one meeting to another. Maybe the first meeting was held two weeks ago. When will the next one uh, comes up? Okay, it may be stated in the constitution. But what I'm saying in essence is that notice is a situation whereby you create awareness, you inform members to attend a meeting. Maybe through hard copy letter we are going to send to them. It may be through messages that are going to inform them about the meeting. Okay, that's one. The second thing that you need to do is the agenda. And what do you mean by saying agenda? Agenda is the list of items to be discussed at a meeting. I mean, agenda is the list of items to be discussed at a meeting. It is the responsibility of the chairman and the secretary to rub mind together and uh, fashion out, you know, the list of items they want to discuss. Okay, that's agenda. After that one, yes, the meeting proper. Okay, after you might have prepared the agenda, the meeting. On the day of the meeting, the first thing, okay, that we come up, that's the minute of meeting. The first thing there is prayer, opening prayer, which will be rendered by one of the members. Okay, one of the members will render the opening prayer. Okay, after that one, you go to attendance. Attendance now is of three categories. Okay, Attendance of members that are present, okay, in that meeting, that's category one. Two, you also take the attendance of members that are absent with apology. What I mean by absent with apology is that those members, they have sent maybe letter or, you know, called the chairman or secretary that as a result of this and that, I will not be able to attend the meeting. Please, let me tender my apology, okay? That's the second category of attendance. 
The third one is a member absent without apology. They did not even bother to call the chairman or the secretary or any of the executive to tell them the reason why they were not able to attend the meeting. Okay? Those are the third category of what? Of a uh, attendance. Okay? After that one, we now have the uh, chairman opening remark. The chairman will welcome all the members to that particular meeting. Okay? We will now wish them happy deliberation. That's the chairman opening remark. Okay? After that one, you now see uh, the secretary. We what? We either give them the agenda, okay? The agenda of what? Of the uh, the agenda of the meeting. That is the list of items they want to discuss at that meeting. We give to them. They will now adopt it. That is, they will adopt it for deliberation. Okay? If there are some points there that they need to strike out, maybe that one may cause confusion or that point may be for the management consumption. That one will be strike out. Or if there is anything like that, if there is nothing like that, they will adopt it and they will now deliberate on the list, uh, the, the list of items that is stated in that particular agenda. Okay? And uh, if it is not an inaugural meeting, meaning that it is, not, you know, it is not the first time of having such a meeting. They will have minutes of meeting. That is, minutes of the record of what is said and decided in the previous meeting will be read to the hearing of all the members. Okay? After reading to their hearing, if the, if the copy is not provided, if the copy is not given to all the members, it is mandatory that the secretary will stand up and read it to the hearing of all the members. The member will listen attentively and now look at if there's any correction. Okay, if there's any correction in the minutes of meeting read to their hearing by the secretary, it will be corrected and it will now be adopted. Meaning that all those things that is read to their hearing, it is uh, it has been accepted by what? By all the members that will now be the binding rules guiding their conduct in that particular uh, organization. Take for instance, if in the previous meeting it is decided that henceforth the annual due is no longer 10,000, it's 15,000. After reading into their hearing, and uh, they now say that yes, they, they agree, okay, to that, there will be a person that will move the motion for the adoption, meaning that he will move the motion that yes, we should accept what is uh, the minute of the previous meeting. And there will be another person, there will be a seconder, okay, that will support the motion moved by the first uh, person, which is also a member, okay, it will now be agreed upon. It's now become a binding rules that will guide their conduct in that particular organization. The secretary will now append the signature and likewise the chairman, okay. So, after that one, you now look at matter arising okay from the previous uh, meeting that is there may be some points that are not well discussed in the last meeting in the previous meeting they can now bring them up again for deliberation okay they will now look at it one after the other okay after that one has been uh, dealt with they will now go to the main business okay the reason for calling for the meeting why you ask member to meet Okay, all those items, you have up to two, three items that you, that are the main reason why you call for the meeting. They will now discuss them one after the other. Okay, after all those uh, main business of the day have been fully discussed, okay, we now go to A, O, B, meaning any other uh, business. Okay, any other business, any other matter, any other issue, apart from the main reason for calling for the meeting. Okay, cannot be raised by the member, and it's this chairman that will preside over the meeting. But on the other way around, if chairman is not around, the secretary can also preside over the meeting. So, if there are other issue, that one will now come up under A O B. Any other business after all those things have been fully discussed as well, and uh, maybe because of uh, all those listed items has been fully discussed. You can now call for the adjournment of the meeting. That is, you want to bring the meeting to a close. Okay? 
and also there will be a person that will move the motion for the adjournment of the meeting that is we want to bring the meeting to a close till another time okay so another person will now be a seconder that will second the motion that the message will be brought to a close after that one if there is any slight uh, refreshment it will be given to members okay and uh, closing remark we also follow the chairman or the person presiding over the meeting we also give a closing remark by appreciating them for coming okay wish them well and uh, safe journey back to their respective destination okay and uh, the final uh, point will now be closing prayer which will be rendered by any of the members okay to close the meeting that's how i mean that's the procedure of a, a meeting god bless you this is where we are going to stop for today when else we meet we continue from there